Hello guys, in this video I will show you a lot of practical examples of table filters in Filament, like this one on the screen for example, filters with layout customizations, various options like power tools to be able to customize the filters by the user themselves, and in general table filters have a lot of kind of hidden features or less known features, most of them are in the documentation of select filters, but the documentation in this case doesn't have screenshots or almost any screenshots, so I decided to continue my kind of tradition of visualizing the documentation in a video, showing you exactly what happens if you use certain options from filament. Let's dive into the examples. The first example is a very simple select filter. Here, let's take a look. So we have the table of clients and in the filters we have this drop-down of industries. We will talk about the layout of the filters a bit later, for now let's focus on this and what do we have here. Select filter make with label that you can customize, options are array inside of the same clients table file, just key and value pairs. Also it is searchable, so you can start typing for example technology, and then when you choose the technology, when you apply the filters, this is the indicator. And here you can customize the text that appears here, so let me zoom that in. Selected industry is the text instead of default industry for the selected indicator, so if we comment that out and refresh, we have default label from the same label here. The next example right below is select filter with the data from the database, so the options could be array and this could be a custom query to the database. So in the same filter we have country with all the countries from the database, which come from the clients table from the country field having distinct values from that. So basically all really available countries from the database, not just the static list of the world's countries. Next in the list we have ternary filter, which is basically yes or no, and is VIP for client. Looks like this by default, VIP clients, and then you have yes, no, or default, which is basically both. So for example, we can filter yes, apply filters, and then we have nothing, let's check out other conditions, and now we can see that we have only VIPs here, if we choose no, then only non-VAPs are present. So yeah, this is the ternary filter by default. For the next example, we will switch to invoices table, and here in the filters we have client that come from the database from the relationship. So the syntax is this. You have invoices table with invoices resource from filament, and in here we have relationship. Instead of setting the options like this here from static array, you can do relationship and then relationship name and what field to show, and that relationship name should come from the same function in the eloquent model. So in the database we have the invoices, we have client ID, and if we click here we have clients and that name, this is what will appear in the drop-down. Next we'll take a look at custom filters, so we saw select filter and ternary filter that come from filament itself, but now what if you want to filter by something custom like invoices issued from and until, for example, from October 1st to October, I don't know, 5th for example, apply filters, and this is the result by the column issued add. The filter works like this in the code, so we have filter make, then we have schema of what's inside, what are the fields to filter by, in this case we have two date pickers, and then those issued from and issued until names can be used in a custom query. So down below we have query to the same filter, and then you add whatever condition with eloquent, for example you check if issued from is filled, then you add where date like this, same happens with issued until, just with different condition. And then also with that, you saw probably there's indicate using, so that indicator can be customized quite a lot, so issued from and issued until, and also the format of the date is different, so you can return the array of indicators, indicate using is the method, and this would be the text issued from and issued until with the value, the exact value of current filter values. Another very similar example of custom filter, just not with the dates, with the numbers instead, minimum and maximum amount for example, you apply the filter, and then we have the amount only $20,000 plus, and the code is in here, so we have filter make, amount range, also schema from two 
text inputs in this case both numeric and then we have indicate using and custom query with when condition so almost identical just not for the dates instead for the numbers with that there's an example of indicators with some custom formatting for example number format dollar sign here rounding to whatever number you want so this would be formatted well with dot zero zero at the end so basically with indicate using you can be pretty free with your imagination how you would show the text here the next example will be ternary filter but with more complicated case so overdue yes no would filter the invoices that are not paid and the due date is already in the past and for that you need a custom query but custom query for specifically true condition or false condition in the code this is how it looks like so ternary filter with queries and true and false both have callback functions returning the query so basically for true and for false you may have totally different conditions with totally different custom eloquent queries the next demo will be select filters but depending on each other and for that we have a table projects and in the filter we have client and project so when we choose the client then project options appear in the second drop down as dependency so how does that work in the code so we have a custom filter filter make inside and inside we have schema with many select and other columns so we have select and this is live which means that other selects would be refreshed with the value of this client id so that's why with options we have get and we have get client id from the currently chosen client id from filters and now we can run database query querying the projects of that specific client and also we have a disabled condition if client id isn't chosen yet then this drop down of project is disabled for now next let's finally talk about the layout and the organization of the fields i promised you that in the beginning of this video so imagine you want to group some filters into a group like this so what do you do first you list the filters as usual in the filters array so select filter this and that and each filter has a name and then you can use that name when defining a thing let me scroll way way down this is it filters form schema and in here you have section make and then in schema add filters with the names of those filters from above and here you can apply all the layout things from section like columns column span full and others so this is one section then this is another section with assigned to and client project then we have another section and another section so visually we have four sections number one number two number three and number four with power tools and those power tools will be our next topic but before that i want to emphasize that also you can add trashed filter so this one deleted records with deleted records or only deleted records in this case the model uses soft deletes so in the list of all the filters above somewhere here we may see here yeah there it is trashed filter make without any other options it would build the drop down for selecting soft deletes and now let's get to power tools which is powered by query builder so what filter query builder allows you to make is select constraints for users to be able to choose their own options for fields and values let me show you so you can add a rule priority and then select an option priority is or is not value something like this so in other words you allow your users to customize those values let me zoom in and you can add one more rule for example assigned to whoever no we don't have anything here any options like for example opened at certain date not sure if we will have any records yep we do have opened after october 10 so this is all defined in the query builder which you can also add to the section you saw that already in the last section power tools we have filters query builder and filters trashed so yeah this is a variety of features and options that table filters contain in filament did i miss anything important let me know in the comments below 
And if you want more filament examples, more projects with filament, we have filamentexamples.com with currently 77 projects on GitHub. So to access the code of all of those that you can see on the screen while I'm scrolling, just go to filamentexamples.com and access the membership on the top right. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.